Hello, I'm Martin Hill. I'm chair of NHS Lancashire Board and I just wanted to mention a few things that uh, we discussed at the Health Board meeting today. Um, the Health Board meets every couple of months and it uh, consists of executive and non-executive directors and we go through an agenda with different business items on it uh, each time. Um, this time was quite interesting because we had a number of uh, uh, really quite important uh, matters to discuss, not least of which was that uh, we approved the appointment of Lang O'Rourke as our partners to take forward the design of the new hospital, the Monkland Replacement Project Hospital. And so that was the formal approval uh, to that contract and they'll be working closely with us to help design uh, what the new hospital is going to look like uh, and hopefully be involved as construction partners thereafter. Um, another thing that I mentioned at the board today was that I attended a couple of weeks ago the Monkland Replacement Project Summer School. Now this was a project that involved 16 young people from schools in North Lanarkshire uh, who gave up a week of their summer holiday uh, to come along and to work with our designers, our clinical staff and the project team to help design uh, courtyards that are going to be built uh, for the uh, wards for the care of the elderly in the new hospital. And they spent that week, and I went along at the end of the week, and they presented their designs and there was some fabulous creativity. And I just want to thank uh, all of these young people. Not one of them dropped out and they were all very enthusiastic and hopefully they'll all now be looking for careers either to work in hospitals or even in architecture or design going forward. But that's just the start because the other big advantage of the Monkland Replacement Project, of course, is that it is going to have an impact on the whole community, on the whole of Lanarkshire. It's not just the replacement hospital. It's huge levels of uh, government investment uh, in North Lanarkshire and so we're going to be working as a health board to involve as many people within the community uh, during the, the design and construction phase. Another matter which we considered today was a new style of performance reporting and previously the health board would receive quite lengthy narrative reports from uh, various of our executive colleagues just telling us what had been happening over the previous month or two, uh, what were some of the achievements, what were some of the areas that were still developing. Um, but the reports were sometimes in different styles. What we've done now is bring that together into an integrated performance and quality report, which means it's much easier just to get a sense of are we meeting our targets? If not, what are we doing to achieve that? And that's uh, in its first iteration was considered today. We'll develop it going forward. But because the health board meetings are public meetings, of course, then that document is available. Uh, for anybody to read. The other point about health board meetings of course is that, that they are recorded and so if any member of staff is interested in watching the proceedings uh, you can check it out on the website and watch the health board meeting. There are a number of other uh, items that were discussed today and, and one clearly uh, was about just reviewing um, how well we were doing, particularly at the front door of the hospitals. Uh, we're aware that when people come to A&E &E, they sometimes have to wait much longer uh, than they would want to, but we also know that, that puts a huge stress and strain on the staff. And so Operation Flow, which many of you will know about, uh, is helping to redesign the way in which uh, patients are going to be treated. 
We've also got the, uh, the, the new uh, minor suite, which is due to be finished at University Hospital Wishaw uh, in October. And in fact, the health board want to visit uh, University Hospital Wishaw probably towards the end of October, when we'll get the opportunity to meet with staff and hopefully with some patients as well. Because it's important that the health board are visible, it's important that, that we hear from staff uh, and also get the opportunity to speak to patients. And I've invited the Vice Chair, uh, Dr Leslie Thompson, to do a wee bit of work with some colleagues and work out how we can increase the visibility uh, of the board and go beyond the leadership walk rounds which we have already established uh, and see what else we can do uh, to increase that. Because it's important that people understand what is the role of the board, how, what's its function and how does it relate to the job you're doing uh, as a member of staff. The um, other thing we reviewed today was uh, the whistleblowing annual report. Now one of our non-executive directors, uh, uh, Leslie MacDonald, is the whistleblowing champion and she presented the annual report for the last year. Uh, which reported on a relatively small number of whistleblowing uh, um, uh, actions that had been taken uh, and we were able to review the process. And that was really important, not least because of experiences down south with the Lucy Letby case and so it's very important that we make sure our systems uh, are, are right and that we have assurance we can give to the health board, to the staff and to the people of Lanarkshire that what happened down in the Countess of Chester cannot happen in our hospitals in Lanarkshire. Um, a number of other matters were discussed including the corporate risk register but amongst the more interesting was probably the, the net zero route map. Now this is a, a terrific piece of work that Jackie McGeoch and others are taking forward and that's um, taking advice from a firm of engineers that came in and studied the greenhouse gas emissions of all of our activities in NHS Lanarkshire and has helped to set out a route map to take us to net zero. Uh, by 2030 and 2040 there are different targets uh, and we need to do a lot of work to make our services and make our buildings much more climate friendly. And so that set out a strategic approach and we have applied for some funding, uh, capital funding to help us to improve the sustainability of some of our buildings. Uh, but there were a lot of other routine matters that were discussed at the board. If you want to see, please take advantage of the recording that's there and uh, I would be interested in any feedback that any member of staff has and what I've said. Thanks very much.